All right, this is one of the uh, engineering diploma student actually asked me about this question since it's still the progression question. So I should be able to do so. Okay, here I'm going to make a short video to explain about how to get this R power 5 thing. All right, so at first they say this is a GP. They give us the first term is 1 and the common ratio they don't give us, they just say it's R. And then here they have two conditions for R, which is R cannot equal to 1 and R must be greater than 0. So over here, the first one, they say sum of the first five term of GP is twice the sum of the term from 6 to 15 uh, term inclusive. So basically, it will include 6 and 15. All right, so first thing is uh, I will need to write out the equation first. So therefore, the first uh, sum of first five term basically mean S5. All right, then I will say it equals to twice, which is double of. Okay, this one, I want to sum from like t6 plus t7 plus all the way to the t50. Okay, so the easiest way of doing this one is we will do S5, S15, which is from the first term plus until the 15th term. And then I minus the first five term, isn't it? Minus the S5. All right, this is what I will do. All right, then, okay, then definitely we can simplify a little bit. Um, because this, I have another S5 to the other side. This is 2S15 minus 2S5. And then two, minus 2s5, I'm going to move to the other side, become plus 2s5. So I have 3 of s5 here equals to uh, double of s15. All right, so here I only know my a equals to 1, but I do not know my r value. So over here, they tell me r must be bigger than 1 because we know uh, for the sn itself, we have two choice in geometry progression, right? You know, we can be a1 minus r power of n over 1 minus r or uh, a rn minus 1 over uh, r minus 1. So we have like two choice here, but here we only know the r must be bigger than zero. We only know the r must be bigger than zero. So because r is bigger than zero, it might, I might get something like two, three, four, five, and so on, doesn't it? But then because normally we will choose uh, the first one when r is less than one, this one when r is bigger than one. So since r must be bigger than zero, then I will choose the second one. Okay, because because this is how they will overlap, right? This one less than one, definitely they doesn't overlap at all. So therefore, I will choose the second formula here. All right, so here I have three, S5. Since A equals to one, so I can just ignore all the A here because one multiply the whole thing, is I'm still getting back the one here. All right, so here I have R power of five minus one over uh, R minus one, and it equals to two. All right, then this is r power 15 minus one over r minus one. All right, definitely the first step I will do here is I will just um, uh, mult multiply r minus one for both sides. I get rid of r minus one and then I expand it. So this is three r five minus three equals to two r 15 uh, minus two. And I see this one is sort of the quadratic or cubic equation. So I, what I will do is I will group everything to one side, see what I can do next. So this one, I should have something like minus three r power five. This one is minus three um, plus three, so it will become plus one. Three minus two, within it, plus one. All right, then, okay, I see this equation. I realize um, it's sort of the cubic equation. If I make the, I factorize out the r five here, then I will have r five power of three, then it minus three r five plus one. If you cannot see this one, maybe I uh, what I can do next is I can let maybe like x equals to r power of five, then you should be able to see this cubic equation. So you get two x cubed minus um, three x plus one. All right, so from here, you can quickly use the calculator to do, but if you want to do manually, you kind of need to use the factor theorem. So, so here, um, if I use a calculator, I should be able to get the final answer already. So what is my objective? I want to show that uh, R5 equals to this thing. So right now, if my R5 is X, so if after I type in the calculator, I can get X equals to one over two and then square root three minus one, then I kind of got my answer already. So let's go into the equation here. Um, Sorry, Um, okay, let me just move on, see this one. Okay, equation, I go to polynomial power three here. So this is two. I don't have X squared, so it's zero. My X is ne negative three. And then this one should be one. Okay, then what I want to do next is I check my answer. 
So because just now I want is kind of the plus version, so I don't want this one, and I don't want one here because they say R, R cannot equals to to one either. So I don't want this one. So the last one is this one. So therefore, I will ch I will choose this one. X is uh, is equals to um I uh negative one or I write the square root three first minus one over two. Okay, where's my x? X is my alpha of five, right? So it equals to square root three minus one over two. Or oh, you prefer to take out one over two to make it look exactly like this one is yeah fine. You can do that. But eventually if you show until here, I can just see. Sure. Okay, then now I'm going to teach you how to do manually. If let's say we do not want to use a calculator, how are we going to solve this cubic equation? Alright. So if you want to solve the cubic equation, right, we kind of need to use the uh, factor theorem. So the factor theorem, what I will do is I will let uh, fx equals to 2x cubed minus 3x plus 1. I need to find out the factor for this equation. So I try to sub 1 because I want to get it 0, then I know which is a, a factor. So I sub 1 into here is 2 minus 3 plus 1. It's exactly 0. Then I know x minus 1 is a factor of fx. So since I know this is the factor of fx already, what I can do is I will do the long division for it. So this is 2x cubed minus uh, plus 0x squared because we don't have x squared, 0x squared minus 3x plus 1 and then divided by x minus 1. This is long division. So I will get, do something like 2x squared here. So I get 2x cubed minus 2x squared. Here I give me 2x squared minus 3x. Then I will get something like plus 2x. Then this is 2x squared minus 2x. Then here I should have minus x plus 1, should be negative 1, minus x plus 1. Alright, so therefore from here, I can I know my fx is basically is x minus 1 multiplied with the, my quotient in the next, my answer here. So if fx equals 0, I going back to this equation, fx equals 0, then I can say x minus 1 and 2x squared plus 2x minus 1 equals 0. Like the questions uh here say something like they do not want r equals to 1. So therefore, we can just ignore about this x equals to 1. Because x equals to 1, x is our power of 5, right? Equals to 1, then r is equals to 1. This one I will reject that. Because you fifth rule of 1, you still get 1. All right, then I want to get from the other one. So this one is um, another quadratic you need to factorize. So all of us know about quadratic formula, right? If negative b plus minus square root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So I just insert into this formula, negative b plus minus square root. And because I only want, because the r must be bigger than zero, so I only want the plus version. So here I don't waste my time to do the plus minus. I just need to do the plus version. All right, so my b square, which is two square, which is four, minus four a c, c will be uh, negative one, divided by two a, two times two, four. Alright, so my x is our power of 5. I can insert our power of 5 here. This is negative 2 plus. This one should be mm, positive 8. So we square root 12 over 4. And then we know that um, all this number, uh, because square root 12 is basically equals to 2 sub 3, isn't it? Because it's 4 times 3, right? 4 is square root 4 is 2. So this is 2 sub 3. So we know that um, the whole thing we can factorize out the 2 if I want. So, so this one will get negative 1. And this one will left a sub 3. All right, why I want to do that? Because this one we can simplify, become two. Then I get exactly the answer we want, isn't it? So our power of five will equals to uh, square root three minus one divided by two. All right, then we say shown. Okay, this is how we do manually without using the calculator. But definitely if you want to use a calculator, you are fine. All right, so even though it's a diploma question for engineering student, but I don't find this question like extremely hard. Anyways, I hope my explanation can help you understand better about these progression questions. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.